Good morning on Wednesday morning. I hope you've been enjoying the week of prayer. This morning we're going to be thinking about the youth and the children here at Christchurch and praying for those ministries. I don't know about you how the week of prayer has been going but sometimes I struggle to know what to pray for and I love to look back in the Bible at some of the amazing prayers that we find there. One particular one I love is here in Ephesians chapter 3. Let me read it to you. This is Paul praying. He says, For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom his whole family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the saints, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. It's an amazing, amazing prayer, and as we think about the young people here at Christchurch, I can hardly think of any greater prayer. It begins with the acknowledgement that we pray to our Father in heaven, who loves these young people more than we ever could. It goes on to talk about his glorious riches. We can know that when we pray to him, he has the power to answer our prayers out of his glorious riches. And look at what it is that Paul prays for in this passage. He prays that through God's Spirit, Christ may dwell in each of our young people's hearts, each of our hearts, through faith. And he prays that amazing bit of his prayer, where he prays that we would know how long and how high and how deep and how all-surpassing is the love of Christ. And that's got to be an amazing prayer for our young people, above anything else, that they would know the love of God. Funnily enough, this echoes so much um, the prayer that Michelle and I pray for Ava each evening as at her bedtime. We pray, uh, not long complicated prayers, but we pray that above anything in her life that she would know the love of God and that she would know our love. What a wonderful thing to ground our prayers in this morning for our young people, that above all, that they would know the love of God the love that surpasses all knowledge, anything else they'll ever learn in this life, know in this life, that everything in their lives would flow from the knowledge of this awesome love, this overwhelming love of Christ. So please could you pray for our youth, our children, particularly if you want something to ground your prayers in, then perhaps for the children you could pray for the holiday club coming up this summer in July, which is so key. It takes a huge amount of organisation, but is a massive, massive witness in our community. That's from the 24th to the 27th of July. I know Ashley would appreciate your prayers for that. And for me, imminently, the house party is coming up at Easter, the 6th to the 9th of April. If you could pray for that, that would be amazing. And perhaps also pray that this year I don't get gunged. That would be great. <laughs>